Good Alice Retro Connor presents The Super Mario Brothers 2 Controversy. Ah, the Super Mario games, a staple of all our childhood memories. So much fun, so fond memories. Except for one sinister fact. The Super Mario Brothers 2 you know and love isn't really Super Mario Brothers at all. <sighs> the Super Mario Brothers 2 you know and love is in fact a port of a Japanese game called Doki Doki Panic. <sighs> Unless you're having an asthma attack there, will you stop that now, please? Yume Kojo, Doki Doki Panic, or Dream Factory Heart Pounding Panic to us English-speaking fellows, was loosely based on an anime series of the same name about an Arabic family whose children are sucked into a book by an evil toad-like wizard, and the remainder of the family have to go and rescue them. Interesting, huh? Oh, you don't want to gasp there. No? No? All right, then we'll move on then. There are a few noticeable differences between the original and the Mario 2 we've come to know, the main being that you can actually save your progress. <sighs> what are you gasping at? It's just a save. This was mainly because the game initially came out on Nintendo's short-lived Famicom disc system, so saves could be written onto the disc itself. No need for any battery backup in those days. But it does also explain why Mario 2 had an Arabic theme to the game that seemed so alien to the others in the series. But there was a Mario 3 in Japan, so they must have got a Mario 2 then. Yes, they did. But their Mario 2 was very different. It was more like a rehash of the original Super Mario Brothers, except the game was a lot harder this time around. It had power-ups that could kill you and was generally an overall tougher game. But it seems that Nintendo decided not to release it for the US market as it might have been deemed too hard for Western tastes. So they cobbled together an already existing game, slapped on Mario's mug on the front, and called it Super Mario Bros. 2. Their Mario 2 was eventually released here in Super Mario All-Stars on the SNES under the name The Lost Levels. And our Mario 2 was released there later on as Super Mario USA. So spare a thought for those poor Japanese people thinking they were getting an all new game with Super Mario USA when all they were getting was a game they'd already bought years ago and without any saves. There are a few other mix-ups with well-known gaming licenses such as Alex Kidd and Wonder Boy, but we'll delve into those on a later date. Whoa. This has been a Portland Interactive production for XLeague.tv.